What's up, everybody? Welcome to our live stream for the month of February. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you out there. Um, today is February 14th, 2023. So thank you guys for joining us. Um, sorry, we're starting a little bit late, uh, just uh, getting some technical stuff figured out, but uh, should be all good now. Yeah, we're going live. We're actually currently live on uh, YouTube, Facebook, and on Instagram. So I'll be checking my phone for the Instagram comments, answering any um, comments on YouTube, and then also on Facebook if you have any questions there. Um, before we kind of jump in and get started uh, talking about today's topic, if you can just let me know uh, if you can hear and see me okay so that I can make sure that our tech setup is working before uh, we jump into today's live stream. Got a bit of a purple blue theme going on with the lighting. Um, all right, so we got about uh, close to 100 people on YouTube, got some people on Facebook as well. Then check my phone on Instagram. Okay, got about 50 people on Instagram. <clears throat> All right, let me know if you can hear me on Instagram, okay, because obviously the mic is through the phone, so the uh, might be a little bit far away, but let me know if you're able to hear me okay. Sound is low. All right, let me change this, turn this mic here. All right, let, let, let me know if you can hear me better on the mic now. Okay, it's better now. Good, good. All right, if you're joining us from YouTube, would uh, greatly appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button on the, uh, below the video, or if you're watching us uh, you know, on your phone, also below the video. If there's a thumbs up button, let me know if um, audio and video is working fine. Um, get, make sure you smash that like button on YouTube so that it kind of uh, pushes to more people who might find this information helpful. I would greatly appreciate that. Okay, all right, better now. All right, good, good. Yeah, so, so the mic was kind of turned around, but it seems to be okay now. <clears throat> okay, great. Got uh, about 50, 60 people on uh, Instagram as well. So let's kind of get started. Um, a, a couple of things, some big announcements to make for those of you that kind of you know have or have not been following us. You probably have known that or have seen or have heard that we've launched a new uh, DTF printer. Um, if you were there with us at Long Beach um, in, in the show back in January, in, in late January, you probably have seen that live in person. But if you haven't, um, you know, uh, and you kind of, this is the first time you're hearing about it, well, I'm here to let you know that we did launch our new uh, DTF printer called Revel. Um, it's uh, a brand new DTF printer that we've launched. And for those of you that are not familiar with DTF, it's, it's, uh, it stands for Direct to Film printer and uh you know given dtf has been really taking off we decided to kind of launch our own dtf printer um you probably saw it if you joined the us at the show you saw it working live um it's a roll-to-roll -roll dtf printer super helpful for kind of large-scale pro production of dtf prints um this is a way to kind of you know print designs onto a onto a film and then be able to transfer using heat transfer using a heat press uh, to transfer that onto a variety of, of garments like t-shirts, hoodies, jackets, things of that nature. Um, so this is super helpful for people that want to make a t-shirt printing in bulk. And um, we've already had a, quite a few orders uh, on the DTF printer um, since we have launched it. And uh, if you haven't checked that out already, make sure to, to check that out. If we can bring that up, uh, if we have any on, on, on the website, can we bring that up? <clears throat> just so you guys know kind of how it looks like. And one thing, while we're bringing that up on the website, so you kind of have this, you kind of see what, what, it, what it looks like. It's, it's a roll-to-roll -roll DTF printer. And the, and the good thing about DTF that um, a lot of people like is the fact that you can, obviously the roll-to-roll, the -roll, you set it up and then it just kind of prints, uh, it prints um, on a continuous basis, goes through a shaker with the white powder, goes through a, a, a fuser to kind of, you know, fuse together the, the white powder. And um, 
uh, create these prints that are ready to be transferred onto a variety of substrates, right? Um, and the good thing is it, it can transfer onto onto uh, cotton, onto polyester. Uh, it doesn't matter kind of what kind of surfaces um, you uh, transfer the onto because as long as it can fit under the heat press, you're able to, to transfer it. So it's very versatile compared to other apparel decoration methods, compared to other printing methods. Um, as you see there on the screen, it's it's quite a large setup. You have the printer in the back, and then you have this uh, dryer and the and the and the roll to roll in the front where it kind of you know the roll of uh, film kind of passes through there and you can print a lot of a lot of designs at once and also the good thing about this is you can also pre-store your designs if you're looking to um, you know if you if, if you run your own brand if you run your own shop and you're looking to um, just print print t-shirts that you create you can also pre-print a lot of designs uh, have them stocked up and then when people order them just go ahead and press them onto the t-shirt so that's also a great way to run a, run a business that way and and also these DTF printers, uh, one thing people don't realize is also opens up a whole set of other doors for a, a another business model where you can just print these transfers on demand for people. You don't have to transfer them onto t-shirts and then people can just, other people can just buy those transfers from you and um, buy a heat press and transfer it onto t-shirts on their own. So you can just, you know, have this thing print, print, print and, and cu cut them up into different designs and be able to uh, just ship those designs to people without having to transfer them onto t-shirts. So if you want, if you want kind of, you know, uh, don't do the other half of the work, let someone else do it. You can just print designs and do that as a business too. And you can, obviously you make, you know, a smaller uh, profit margin, but you also do less work and leave that to someone else who just wants to buy your designs or buy their own designs um, that, and have you print for them and then just be able to transfer them using a heat press. So it kind of opens up a lot of doors for a kind of a very versatile machine to um, for a variety of applications. Um, this is super helpful for doing that. And um, for our package, it comes with a heat press, comes with a purifier, um, as you see there, so that um, as it goes through the dryer, it kind of purifies all the output, the uh, smoke, and it's able to kind of you know be safe to use indoors. Um, but it kind of operates, the dryer part operates like your home dryer. You do need a special connection. Um, uh, from a, from, a, from, a, from an electrical outlet standpoint, you need a special connection, um, kind of like your, your at-home dryer. And then uh, it's like a commercial dryer. It kind of goes through it and then dries the uh, powder with the ink, and then you're able to have this finished sheet that you can ready to go and transfer it at any time. Okay, so uh, with that, during our President's Day sale, you do have, uh, we do have a special sale going on for that printer. Um, you get... Uh, 0% financing for as low as 277 per month. Uh, also with a small down payment, uh, you're able to get that get that uh, DTF printer. Uh, the DTF printer is uh, right under um, the DTF printer package, uh, which by the way, comes with not only the heat press, the uh, purifier, comes with the uh, all the supplies you need to get started. Also, it comes with, um, with training and, and installation. So uh, you get trained uh, with someone on site to help you set up the machine and all of that. All that comes included with the package. Um, it's just under $30,000 and uh, you're able to get 0% financing on that and free shipping, which can save you upwards of you know, $1,500 um, on this printer because it is a, you know, a big bulky item to ship. Um, people sometimes have them in their garage. Um, if you have a commercial space, this will be great for it. But even if you just have a garage just starting out, uh, as long as you have enough space and set it up properly, you're able to print on demand and at in bulk. I mean, this thing can churn out hundreds of designs in uh, in, in an hour. So um, super, super helpful for uh, getting started in the t-shirt printing business, it's especially when you're just looking to sell transfers and not you know transfer it onto t-shirts. Leave that to someone else. Gives you that option as well. Okay. Um, so that's for the DTF printer. So that's the kind of our latest and greatest um, product line that we have brought in in house. Um, that's something if you're interested in that, check it out. Um, contact our team. We've pinned uh, the contact info in the comments section below, and uh, you can get in touch with our team to learn further about that. Okay, with regards to uh, the other things available in our President's Day sale, which by the way started last Friday, will end uh, next Friday. So you have about a week and a half left on this promotion. Uh, we do have 0% uh, financing on our embroidery machines as well. 0% uh, financing on those as well as free shipping um, up to $1,500 uh, 
uh, for embroidery machines as well. So if you're looking to save on that, make sure to get in on the embroidery machines. Um, payments as low as 135 per month on the EM1010, our entry level 10 needle machine on the embroidery side, uh, and free shipping on those as well. If you're looking for a smaller scale um, t-shirt transfer, two-step transfer, white toner transfer sort of a, a printer to get started in the t-shirt printing business and you don't wanna kind of invest in the DTF printer, that's more for large scale, large scale pro production and uh, you know, be able to have that flexibility. If you're not looking to get it on a, on a more entry level, we also have the Luminaris 200 white toner transfer printer. Uh, those of you, you know, that, have, um, that probably have heard of that before, um, it is a white toner desktop printer so it's kind of a, you know, it works in a similar way as DTF, um, but it uses toner instead of ink. So there's less maintenance involved on the uh, white toner transfer printer. Um, our DTF printer uses ink, it uses bulk ink. So that uses ink versus white toner, it uses uh, toner. But it's a very similar kind of um, process where it trans it, you print it onto a uh, sheet of transparent paper or film and then transfer that onto a substrate using using a heat press. One of the benefits uh, that's, and differences between a white toner transfer printer like the Luminaris 200 that we offer here versus the DTF printer that I just mentioned is that um, with a white toner transfer, you, uh, using different types of paper, you can transfer onto hard surfaces like mugs or plates, right, or metal, wood. You can transfer onto hard sur surfaces versus a DTF is mainly for or soft goods like t-shirts and, and other types of garments. So uh, that's a that's a versatility that the white toner transfer printer is able to offer. Um, but it is it is a more compact and desktop printer, so it doesn't have as you know big of a production output as a roll to roll DTF uh, that just constantly prints you know roll at, roll roll after roll. So if you're looking for more large scale production, definitely the DTF will be a better fit, obviously with a higher budget. But if you want to get started in a more entry level machine, the uh, Luminaris 200 will also be a good fit for t-shirt printing. All right, um, so that's it for that. Um, if you're looking to add on any heat presses to your shop um, to kind of complement your, your printing process or just looking to add additional heat presses uh, or upgrade on a heat press, you know, make sure to check out some sales we have on shop.recomo.com. That's our online store. We have heat presses up to, uh, you know, we have select heat presses up to 70% off plus free shipping. So um, great deals on that from now till next Friday. 10% um, off of all sewing machines and vinyl cutters plus free shipping. So if you're looking to add on some sewing machines, especially ones that do uh, sew on patches onto caps or any other types of garments, um, the sewing machines will be great to do that to complement your embroidery machine. And vinyl cutters, if you're looking to do some heat transfer vinyl, we have vinyl cutter packages on there. Uh, that's 10% off plus free shipping can get you uh, started in heat transfer vinyl. So again, another type of apparel decoration method using heat transfer vinyl. It's a much more lower entry point in terms of dollar amount of investment up front, uh, but you also get a heat press, you get, the, you get uh, training with online videos and lifetime support. Um, all of that comes included with your vinyl cutter package, everything you need to get started there. Okay, uh, so those are 10% uh, off plus free shipping. And then you also get 20% off of Chroma, which is our digitizing, our own proprietary digitizing software that works on Mac and PC. Um, you get 20% off of new Chroma purchases or upgrades if you're looking to upgrade from your current version to a higher tier with more features and more capabilities. Um, you get 20% off of that from now till next Friday as well. Okay, all right, um, last but not least, we do have a giveaway, um, and today's sponsor is gonna be Textile. Textile is our sponsor for today's live stream, who will be giving away eight blank t-shirts of various styles. So you can have, you can, you can you know, practice on them, you can kind of try out how these t-shirts feel, print them for your own use, uh, embroider on them, um, you know, do, do what you want and uh, get some samples that way so that you can see which t-shirts kind of you like and maybe order some of that um, later on for customers or even add that to your offerings to your customers so you, you can kind of get a wholesale pricing from, um, from them uh, if you um, if you like certain styles of t-shirts so um, that's that's our sponsor for, for today from from textile uh, two two t-shirts of uh, of um, 
uh, various types, uh, eight, eight blank t-shirts total, $160 in value, all right? So uh, you can easily, you know, print on these t-shirts, sell them for 25, 30 bucks. If you're looking for, to, you know, print on from either heat transfer or direct to garment printing, or you can embroider on them with a small left chest logo and sell that as well. Um, and just uh, try it out, see what the samples are like, and maybe order more wholesale um, pricing from them in the future. Okay, so one lucky winner will be announcing that either from uh, YouTube, Instagram, or on Facebook. We'll be announcing that winner at the end of our um, live stream and then be able to get your information and ship that out to you. Okay, so uh, with that said, we uh, also have one last announcement for uh, for today before we get into today's topic. Quite a few uh, new exciting things. So you kind of learn about our DTF printer and the new launch there. We also do have uh, Deco Summit already on sale. So for those of you that actually by show of hands, how, how many of you know what Deco Summit is? And also a follow-up question to that, how many of you have attended uh, one of our Deco Summit conferences in the past. Let me know in the comments um, if you have been a past attendee of Deco Summit. So a lot of people really like the giveaway. Yeah, a lot of people have been saying, I need those shirts, I can't practice enough. Um, you know, really likes giveaway to, to try out some samples. So yeah, um, definitely uh, the winner of that giveaway will have some uh, some practice shirts to, to use and then try, try them out. Um, let's see here. So some people you know, don't know what Deco Summit is. I want to go to Deco Summit so bad, others say. Um, this past year, I had a conflict. Never attended. Just got my machine in October. Would love to attend someday soon. I hope. I know what Duckwood Summit is, but have not been. Never attended. Okay, so a lot of people have not, have not attended. So I'll, let me tell you a little bit about what Deco Summit is, and then we'll show a quick video just so you guys have an idea. But essentially, it's it's the premier. Uh, educational conference in the, the apparel decoration industry, and when I say that, um, I don't, you know, I, I really mean it in that this is not any sort of trade show type conference where you just go and you look at machines. Uh, while, while 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 there's plenty of that, Deco Summit is a uh, conference that we hold annually. This this is going to be our fourth annual Deco Summit. So we started, I believe, in 2019, um, and this is going to be our our fourth year. So um, we, we skipped the year because of the pandemic, and then we had it last year, the year before. Um, so this year is going to be our fourth year, and we have, it, we have this conference every year where we invite a bunch of speakers, um, people from around the industry, experts in the industry, um, you know, and uh, other speakers, and, and myself included. I'll, I'll be speaking at, at, at the event, obviously. And this is more than just a trade show where you're going to look at different machines. Uh, we're obviously going to be showcasing our latest and greatest um, uh, tech in the conference. You know, uh, we'll kind of be showcasing you know what the latest te uh, technology is, different products. Um, but more importantly, it is a, an event to learn and to be kind of hands-on with a lot of the products. Um, because Deco Summit is, is really focused on education. It's not focused on just walking around and, and looking at different products. It's focused on learning from speakers, learning from experts in the industry, whether it's on the business side, whether it's on the technical side, how to use your machine, how to you know, the tips and tricks of how to be successful in this business, learning from different experts that have done it and have you know gone through it, learning from other shop owners that are just you know in the same situations as yourself, either starting out or have kind of gone through that phase and now have been successful, sharing their insights and how you can learn from those and avoid some of the mistakes that they have. Um, and on top of that, networking with other individuals in the industry, networking with like-minded like people, and maybe even forming partnerships and joint ventures to, um, together in, in the business. I've seen so many businesses happen and business partners um, kind of you know form out of Deco Summit. And so uh, last year we had about 300 people attend, and this year we're expecting you know close to uh, double that, around you know five to six 600 people um, are going to be attending. And um, not only do you have um, hands-on training 
um, opportunities, right? If you're a VIP ticket holder, you get you get to sign up for for a hands-on training class with a DTG printer, with a uh, with an embroidery machine, with a DTF printer, with a white toner transfer printer. All of the products that we have, you you get access to hands-on training and sign up, signing up for that if you're a VIP holder. Um, and being able to get hands-on with the machine. So if, especially for those that are that are new, this will be helpful to kind of learn some of the skills. And even for people that have kind of been in the industry for a while, um, I've al always seen people that, you know, even as they're scaling their business, finding tips about how to scale their business, finding other tricks about, you know, how to grow their shop, how to uh, add more offerings to their shop. All of those things are gonna be super helpful um, to kind of um, learn uh, and implement into your into your uh, your actual business. This is not a trade show to just look at uh, you know other products. This is really you're you're walking away from Deco Summit um, with actionable tips that you can implement into your business. That's the goal, and uh, well worth the trip. Many people have said you know just the ticket price alone, even with the flight and the hotel to to, to get here. One idea that you can take away and implement into your business will give you multiple times the return on your investment and your time. So that's the idea behind Deco Summit, and that's why we believe um, it is. It, 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 I think it's the one and only. We've never seen anything like this. That's why we wanted to create it, uh, because we we didn't we see that a demand is not filled in the industry where people can actually learn and be able to focus on learning in the apparel decoration world, not just trade shows that you look at a bunch of vendors and all of that. We'll have plenty of that you know, at the show. During between sessions, you can go around and check out different products and speak to our vendors, You know, get, get special pricing. Uh, all of that is still available, but the focus is on the conference and the actual learning and networking. So with that said, I'll, uh, let's run the quick video giving you a quick rundown of what I just said so you can get a feel for what past year's Deco Summit is like and some of the experiences that you'll get to get to feel at Deco Summit this year. The content is just the start of it. The networking and the relationships that you'll build today and throughout the weekend is well worth the trip. I came out to Deco Summit today. I'm super excited to be here. And you're looking to get an embroidery machine, any of these shows is the right place to go, especially um, if you're looking to get a machine from Macoma, make sure you guys check out Deco Summit. Some of the classes that I've gotten here while I was here, especially for digitizing, is, is one of the hardest things to learn about embroidery. The hands-on training that they give you here is phenomenal. Fantastic, I've learned a lot here at Deco Summit. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm connecting with other people who are doing the same things I'm doing, so I love it. I'm excited about everything about Deco Summit. I'm excited about meeting people. I'm excited about getting information from people that are already in the industry. I'm excited about getting some advanced training so that when I get home, I can implement these strategies better to run my business more efficiently. And I'm excited about getting footage. I'm excited about seeing all the new technology that Rapoma has available and seeing all the options that are available. This is my first time here at Deco Summit and I'm really here to just really get engulfed in everything, to learn everything because I really want to, I've seen some amazing stuff from some amazing people and I just really want to learn how to do it all. Best part for me is learning the new things that I didn't think I could do with an embroidery machine. I'm super excited to be here at Deco Summit just so I can learn all things Rakoma, all things embroidery, so I can help grow my own business. I am completely always looking for new ways to learn and grow. So I'm excited to meet other um, crafters, other people that work in this business, and just kind of learn about all the new tools that Rakoma has to offer to help me um, in my own home business. Okay, all right, so that was a Deco Summit in a nutshell. So you can see you know, a lot of activity going on there, people networking with each other, looking at machinery, attending conferences, looking at you know, and listening to the speakers. Um, it was a pretty packed last year. We expect that to be the same this year and, and uh, grow uh, in, the at in the attendees count. So um, that's why we're starting ticket sales a little bit early this year. It's gonna be, um, I believe, in September. So. Uh, that's gonna be the uh, what is the actual date if you can put that up on the screen <clears throat> it's gonna be in I think mid to late September in Miami Florida I already see a lot of people asking some questions about uh, 
So it's going to be from September 28th to the 30th in Miami, Florida. You can go to decosummit.com and check out all of the information on there. Um, it will give you a quick uh, rundown as to kind of, you know, what Deco Summit is. Uh, you kind of saw the video there. Um, but all of the trip information is going to be there. There's also a, you know, you can stay at, the, we have a booking link where uh, you can book at the hotel where the conference is going to be. It's going to be at the Hilton this year. Um, so it's a great, great venue and, uh, and a larger venue um, to accommodate more, more people. And, uh, you know, we're finalizing the, the, the schedule now, so the schedule is not fully out. But if you know that this is something that you want to attend and network with people, attend classes, be, you know, learn hands-on training, we have two types of tickets. We have the um, general um, ad admission tickets or GA tickets, um, and we have the VIP tickets. The GA tickets give you access to all of these um, sessions, the, 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 sp the, the speaker sessions, um, but you don't get access to the hands-on training. The hands-on training is only reserved for, for VIP. Um, um, ticket holders and uh, it's a limited um, number of tickets there because obviously we want to make we want to maintain the size of the classes but these are the these are the uh, hands-on training classes that you actually be you know with the machine when and the instructor um, will be kind of you know in, in instructing you on how to do certain things you know embroider on caps um, embroider 3d puff embroider different types of projects uh, learn how to troubleshoot etc cetera, etc cetera. so um, that's gonna be a, a, a ton of fun and a lot of people get you know super um, you know, a lot of value from the uh, just the uh, hands-on training alone. So, if this is something that you're interested in, make sure you get um, you know your VIP ticket. That's going to run out. I think we definitely we sold out last year, and I expect that to be the same because that's the first thing that that will sell out um, coming uh, this year. So. Uh, with that said, the tickets are on sale right now. Um, a super early bird. This is the lowest the ticket prices will ever be uh, for the entire duration of this uh, of, of this event. They're going to be four hundred ninety five dollars uh, for the GA tickets, and I believe seven ninety five for the VIP tickets. Um, so uh, it's going to be quite um, quite the show and quite the event. Um, this is going to be, as I said, the lowest the tickets will ever be, and you can see on there on the screen there that. Uh, um, as the ticket prices, uh, as time goes on, the ticket prices are going to go up. Um, you know, they're gonna uh, once it passes early bird, then they jump up to six ninety five, and then to eight ninety five when you're last minute. So definitely save on that. Uh, that ends on April thirtieth, the first uh, super early bird pricing. So if you're interested to get to to do that, make sure you ch check out decosummit.com and buy your ticket from there. All right. With that said, all right, let's jump into today's topic. I know we kind of cover a lot of announcements, but if you guys have any questions about any of that, feel free to chime in below. I'll get those answered for you. Um, but jumping into today's topic uh, about the pros and cons of outsourcing bulk orders, okay? Um, by show of hands, how many of you right now uh, are not are, are outsourcing um, uh, currently, either with your printing or with your embroidery, how many how many of you are, are outsourcing your or your orders currently, and how many of you are doing that in house? Um, let me know in the comments below on on uh, Facebook or on on YouTube, or if you're joining us from Instagram, let me know there as well. And while while you guys do that, I saw someone else mentioned um, or asked about Deco Summit uh, on YouTube whether it's only for Recoma customers. So no, the answer is no. This is. Uh, while it will benefit you if you have a Recoma machine, right? Because you, you you were teaching on our machines, um, you don't have to be a Recoma customer. You can. We have plenty of people that have joined in past years, just looking to get started and to just don't know where to start. And uh, networking with people, kind of you know, get them into the industry, uh, knowing what machines are out there, what are the different types of machines, how to use them, um, looking at them, kind of get a sneak preview of what it's like being in the industry. People also join for for those reasons, learning about um, you know how to get into how to set up your business, how to do marketing, um, all of those things. You can learn about that before you even have a Recoma machine. And a lot of people find that helpful as well. So it's for it's for um, people with all sorts of levels um, in the industry. And we actually have, even when you're a VIP holder, you actually get, um, you actually choose different tracks. And when you choose these hands-on trainings, um, uh, in past years, what we've done is, you know, you have a beginner track and a more advanced track. So if you are, you know, you're a VIP holder, but um, you're a VIP ticket holder, but you're maybe just starting out, but you want to get that VIP experience, you can still choose a beginner path to kind of get the basics. If you've already been in the industry, you want more advanced topics like 3D Puff and do all of these other cool things, um, 
um, you can join a more advanced track. You, you're welcome to do that as well. So we, we t really cater to kind of a variety of levels. So you really don't have to have a certain level going in, nor do you have to be a Recoma customer to, be a, uh, to get value out of this conference. All right, so we got some people here talking about uh, DTF. So back to the topic of, uh, of outsourcing. Some people are saying that they're outsourcing their DTF, they're outsourcing DTF transfers. Um, the Baby Daddy Co. said uh, in-house, but as large orders are coming in, I have considered outsourcing, okay? Um, some people have said outsourcing vinyl cutter, cricket, um, looking to start. Okay, great. So some people have said that they're outsourcing. So uh, let me kind of give you some pros and cons of outsourcing, right? Obviously, you know, outsourcing is definitely helpful for a particular circumstance, um, especially if you're looking to kind of ramp up your volume. You just don't have the capacity or the time to take on some of the orders. You can definitely outsource those, right? Um, and if you obviously don't have the capability to do that type of apparel decoration, like if someone asks you for embroidery and you don't have an embroidery machine, then obviously you have to you have to outsource. So you don't have by outsourcing, you kind of can still retain the customer, um, but obviously you lose some of the profit margin, right? Uh, you, you you do less work. You just kind of mainly focus on the on the customer relationship, make sure the customer's happy, and you you do you do less work, and you can still make a, a sizable margin. Um, that's the really the pro of, of outsourcing. You don't need to really have an overhead. You just kind of focus on marketing. Um, and as, as I said, focus on the customer relationship to be able to kind of build your book of business, right? Now, now there's I think more um, uh, I think I think it depends on this on your situation, but I, I think uh, given the right circumstance, you have more cons to outsourcing than you have pros. And and here's why I say that um, you really have to have a solid uh, third party um, outsourced vendor that you're working with um, that you trust. Um, because you know they can easily be bad quality. You have to you have to vet them. So that's really the time consuming part. You know even though you have to you don't have to purchase the equipment and do all of that in house. You have to vet the vendor that you're working with. Are they giving you a good quality? Are they giving you good turnaround time? Because at the end of the day, you are you are the customer customer. Um, uh, I guess uh, you are you are the holder of the account with your customer, right? You are liaising with your customer and you're providing the customer service. So they don't really care how you do it, whether you do the items in house or whether you're outsourcing them. So uh, at the end of the day, if they get a bad quality product, if they don't get get it on time, um, they're gonna they're going to be upset about the order that they place with you, right? So your job is to actually, if you are going the outsource route, to vet all the vendors that you work with with these different types of products, make sure that they have the the good good enough of a turnaround time and quality that you are expecting before you offer that to your to your customers. Because you know the customers don't know anything, you know, they don't know uh, anything different. They think that they're still getting the product from you. You gotta you know uphold that that uh, that image and that quality in front of your clients. So uh, when outsourcing, you really lose that source of control. You uh, are at someone else's mercy in terms of their quality. And especially what I don't like is um, up to them uh, in terms of the turnaround time. Because if they're busy with other orders, if they're busy with their in-house orders um, and they're prioritizing those, maybe your, yours gets put on the back burner um, and uh, you, don't, you, don't, you don't get them you know, fast enough. And then that might create frustration with your customers that then you have to set expectations for and go back to them and talk about, hey, you know, why this is delayed and make up you know, reasons why, right? So that's always not a good conversation to have. And you're kind of at the mercy of these other customers uh, or these other vendors, depending on their schedule. That's that's really the major major downside of outsourcing that I hear a lot of people talk about. Um, so I think really the transition from going uh, from outsourcing to doing it in house really has to depend on your financial um, circumstance and whether you have enough demand. I think I think there's always a breaking point where you're you're getting so much requests for embroidery for DTF for uh, for DTG whatever the case is you're getting so much demand and requests for that one um, apparel decoration method that it makes logical sense for you to bring that on. I mean I've seen so many. Um, screen printers 
um, they outsource their embroidery, right? And, um, you know, they get asked for embroidery all the time. And then they, they're just like, man, I'm paying, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a year just on outsourcing on the fees. I, I mean, you can, you can buy a, a two, three head machine with that, with that outsource money, right? And, and own the investment of the equipment and then return that, um, that investment that much quicker in less than a year, because if you're outsourcing, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars on just paying fees. You're probably you can probably make you know forty, fifty thousand uh, dollars. You know, when you sell it to the to the end user and keep it in the house, right? So you can easily pay off your 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 machine within a year um, or even faster because you're making more margin by doing it in house and uh, be able to own that machine free and clear, and then be able to you know all of the rest is is profits going forward. So that's really the. Um, uh, benefit of having that control, right? And someone even mentioned in the comments, turnaround time is one of the worst cons of outsourcing. Yeah, you're you're absolutely right. You know, even that, even though you can find the best quality, um, I think you just can't control the turnaround time. When they have, when they're overwhelmed with orders and they get to dictate to you, oh, your order is going to take two, two weeks, and you've promised the customer, you know, one one week or a turn for a turnaround time, or maybe you told the customer, you know, oh, maybe it's two weeks, and then and then, uh, you know, but they're expecting a week or they're or they're expecting faster turnaround time you just can't control that and the customer might go elsewhere because of that if you quote them a two, two week turnaround time because your um, outsourced embroiderer is backed up um, you know they might just go go somewhere else the customer might just go somewhere else and you lose that you lose that control so that's why I see the the, the biggest fear is the um, is the turnaround time that's something you can't you can't uh, you can't control um, so that's kind of the pros and cons that I will talk about with outsourcing. I would love to hear some of your comments. You know what you guys think about it. How how you guys do it currently. What what do you um like? You know what's what's your kind of guide or metric that you look at uh, when to bring outsourcing in house? I would love to to hear about that. Um, you know, and outsourcing doesn't only apply to kind of bulk orders and and. Um, and the uh, you know type of orders that you outsource for for garments, you can also uh, people also outsource for digitizing, right? There's also a pros and cons and a trade off between digitizing and outsourcing that versus doing that in house and having ownership of a digitizing software, learning how to use it, and be able to digitize in house and provide that service. I mean, I've seen upwards uh, people charge fifty, sixty dollars um, when they digitize a design that's a simple left chest logo for a customer. They charge fifty, sixty dollars. That takes them like five, ten minutes to do. You know, so it's really a good return on investment if you know how to do it. Um, if you're starting out, I still do do recommend if you're brand new to embroidery, still outsource the digitizing to someone else in the beginning. Um, that way, you focus on learning the embroidery part and the and the and the production to be able to create a quality product. Leave the outsourcing to the pros. Outsource to someone that knows how to do it, and then later on consider bringing that in house so you can offer that to your to your customers. Um, always, it's a trade off of time, um, but uh, digitizing is going to be lucrative if you know how to do it right and. And uh, especially for small designs, people are willing, more than willing, to pay $50, $60 for a small design. I've seen that time and time again. I've had embroiderers tell me that. They're like, you know, wow, I, I have Chroma Lux. I can do everything on, on Chroma, on our digitizing software. And um, for a simple, you know, left chest logo, it takes me 10 minutes to, to, to digitize. And people pay $60 for that left chest logo. And if you outsource it, probably cost you you know 10, 15, 20 bucks, and you can you can make m multiple times of that if by just spending a couple of minutes doing it. So uh, with that said, let me let me know any comments you guys have or questions you guys might have about Deco Summit, about any of the promotions I mentioned. Um, I, I'm gonna scroll back up and answer some of these questions um, for the for the remainder of our session here. So we got one question from uh, Janelle Porter uh, on YouTube, the, uh, one of the later questions. How does outsourcing affect your profit model? Great question there. Um, basically outsourcing, you will need to look at your profit model in, in the following. Um, what you're making in the profit by, by outsourcing needs to be greater than your customer acquisition cost. And what I mean by that is, when you're purely focused on customer acquisition and marketing, and you're just acquiring the customer and maintaining that relationship with the customer, and you're not doing any of the production, you're just outsourcing that purely to someone else, and you and you and you make a cut, right? You gotta make sure that whatever you're making in that cut, in that spread, 
is going to be greater than your customer acquisition costs, meaning what it takes for you to acquire a customer. And that you have to figure out over a, over a period of time. Because because you, if you're focused on marketing and you're just you know, marketing and marketing to customers that you offer custom apparel um, and, and apparel decoration, people are going to come to you, right? Those are called leads. And then you have to, yeah, and then out of you know a certain number of leads, say out of a hundred leads, there's a certain percentage of leads that are going to close and actually become customers. So not all a hundred inquiries are going to become customers. A portion of those are going to become customers. That depends on your marketing, on your circumstance, on how you how you uh, you know what kind of services you offer, the price point, etc. And uh, you got to make sure that whatever your cost you're spending to acquire a customer, not just a lead, to acquire a customer, um, is going to be more, sorry, less than what you're making on the profit margin on your outsourcing okay so as an example if 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 you spent a thousand dollars to acquire a hundred uh to to acquire um you know uh one thousand leads let's say let's let's say you spend a thousand dollars to acquire one thousand leads which is great uh if you're able to to, to do that and then um, out of those a thousand a hundred of them become customers okay so te- uh, you know a ten percent conversion rate from leads to 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 clients um, if you spend a thousand dollars and you only acquired a hundred customers that are actually spending money with you, um, each customer is uh, costing you about ten dollars. So each customer's order, you gotta make sure you're at least making ten dollars on that order to turn a profit, right? And then you can do this at scale, where you're scaling up your campaigns, you're scaling up your marketing, acquiring more leads, you know, building the funnel, acquiring more more leads, spending more money to acquire to acquire more leads, hopefully closing more more customers, and then each customer is making you a profit. You gotta just make sure that that's the case so you got to make sure that your unit economics on your um, on your lead cost on your customer cost on on your customer acquisition and then on your profit margin per order is gonna make sense per customer acquisition okay so uh, that's what I say would would be the focus there Okay, let me take some questions on Instagram here. <clears throat> Let's see here. Yeah, so someone said, uh, you know, your Chroma Lux has uh, crashed. Yeah, if you if you uh, just email support, <clears throat> send a screenshot of how it crashed, um, and then we can give you some tips there. Um, but if it's a bug, we can go ahead and and and, and fix that. <clears throat> Hard Knox Lifer, I'm not. Uh, as how much is this machine? I'm not really sure which machine you're referring to. Maybe you can be more, a little bit more specific on our embroidery machines or our DTF printers. G Pena seventy eight also says, my brother and I recently purchased an EM ten ten and we love it. Learning Chroma Lux at the moment. Great, that's awesome. So I see a couple of people asking about the price of of the machine. So I'll kind of give you a range, right? For our embroidery machines, they can range anywhere between right under ten thousand dollars, you know, but with zero percent financing, it's one hundred and thirty five bucks a month um, on the on the zero percent financing. And then, uh, uh, you know, th- that's the starter model. They can range up to upwards of like fifty, sixty thousand dollars for like a twelve head machine, right? For a you can embroider twelve units at once. Um, so that's kind of the, the broad range there. For a single head embroidery machine, uh, they probably range anywhere between ten to like fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars, depending on depending on the model. For the DTF printer, I, I mentioned it's right under thirty thousand uh, dollars. For the white toner transfer printer that I mentioned, um, that's around six to seven thousand dollars, depending on the package that you get. Uh, all of that comes with heat press, paper, and all the ex- uh, all the all the accessories for you to get started. Um, so that's kind of the range for some of the machines that we offer. Vinyl cutters, they're right around like you know fifteen to sixteen sixteen hundred dollars for a package, including a heat press. Um, what else for heat presses? Yeah, they're, they're all on our shop shop.recoma.com. Check them out. They're also ten percent off from uh, till next Friday. Fred Stanford asks, how would you suggest vetting an outsourced company? So. Really, you have to just get samples. Uh, give them a small order, um, or just ask for a sample. Hey, here's my logo. Um, you know, they might charge you for the sample, or whatever the case is. You just have to do it. This is part of the outsourcing game, um, and uh, pay up. And you know, 
get get the sample, see how the design is. Um, if it's printing, see how it feels, how it looks. Uh, wash it, see if it if it lasts in the wash. If it's embroidery, see how if it comes out nice to your design. You probably have to send a proof and approve a proof so that uh, you can um, you can see how uh, how they how they do that design and see if it comes out nicely. So really, just by sampling, and then uh, sometimes you have to go through trial and error. Um, and always, as I said, outsourcing, you know, that's also the kind of iffy part. You can probably get a good sample, and then when you have a bulk order, it might not be consistent. You, you still might run into issues. I'm not going to say that it's going to be perfect if you, even if you just vet, but you just got to make sure you have a good relationship with your outsourced vendor if that's the route that you choose to go. Um, and if you want more control and more profit margins, uh, but also have to do more work, obviously, then uh, bring that in-house. That's, that's the surefire way to do it. All right. Um, happy to attend this year. Yeah, some people. So some people have some questions about Deco Summit. Obviously, it's located in Miami, Florida. Some people ask that. Um, it is in person, um, not online, so that we you have that networking and that in person hands on experience. Just peachy about lasers. Said new here. Just ordered my EM ten ten yesterday. Awesome. Congrats. Welcome to the family. Um, Joseph Lee asks, do we need to register for that event? Any registration fee? So no, so yes, there's a ticket that you need to buy. Uh, no like extra registration fee per se, but you need to register for the event and buy a ticket. Cam and JV says, I viewed some YouTube clips from others who attended last year. Seems to be a good experience to attend Deco Summit. Yeah, absolutely. It's not only a good experience to, to, to kind of network with others, but you really walk away with actionable tips that you can apply to your business. So I think that's the most important thing. If one tip, one idea, that's why I, I attend conferences too. So you, you just get this one idea. It's worth the entire trip and multiple times over. Because if that one idea and then I can implement it and I can execute it in my business, <clears throat> that can generate me hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, in, in, in revenue, that trip was well worth it, right? Because you really just need to, that one takeaway. It might seem overwhelming that you have to like learn all of these things, but really, if you just focus on one big takeaway that you that you get out of it and that you can implement <clears throat> that will have a financial impact on your business, that itself is worth the ticket plus, plus the actual trip. Day and night streetwear and printing says, interested in getting into embroidery, maybe a two-head. Awesome, great. Talk to our... Uh, product specialists here and then they'll be more than happy to help you with some pricing guidance and exactly what you need. Hazelnut's personalized gift, a free shipping here in New Zealand. Uh, no, the free shipping offer that we have for President's Day is only for the, uh, <clears throat> for the continental US. Um, and uh, But you have we, we have a, a distributor in Australia um, that can ship to New Zealand. They cover New Zealand as well. So um, if you uh, buy from there, that's the, the shipping's gonna be cheaper. Kelly Sherrard asked, I would love to learn about vinyl transfers. Seems like a foreign language to me. So vinyl is really not that hard. Um, vinyl is probably one of the most affordable and entry level things um, that you can get into with, with printing, with transfers. Um, so basically, you know, you buy a vinyl cutter, uh, you need a heat press, that's really all you need to get started. Um, and obviously some rolls of vinyl. So vinyl is really great for simple designs, letters, um, you know, one to two color designs, not really great for like multi-layer and full color designs. You can't really do that with vinyl because you, 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 you have to cut out so many vinyl rolls um, to be able to layer them on top of each other. We've, we've shown some uh, several videos on our YouTube channel showcasing that. So if you haven't kind of checked that out, make sure you, you check that out. Um, but basically, you, you just get a vinyl cutter and then, uh, you know, take on some small t-shirt orders. You can transfer them. Um, you can transfer onto mugs. Um, you know, so it's pretty versatile uh, to get started in, 
but uh, it's a little bit more labor intensive. You have to do weeding, you have to kind of weed out the excess vinyl. All of those things are things that are a little bit more uh, labor intensive for, for vinyl, but it's a very entry level way to get started with, with, with t-shirt transfers. Um, and a lot of people do that. And um, you know, you can do simple designs uh, on the back of like jerseys, t-shirts, et cetera. Um, and uh, it can get started for less than $2,000 uh, for a complete package. Um, vinyl cutter plus heat press plus all the supplies. Basically, you use the vinyl cutter to, to give you an overview of the process. You use the vinyl cutter, cut out your vinyl, right? It, you can it, it traces the contour. You then use a weeding tool like a hook to weed out the excess vinyl, and then with with the vinyl sheet, you know, you transfer it onto a onto a carrier sheet, and then transfer that onto the uh, the the substrate t-shirt whatever it is that you're transferring onto and then after you press under the heat press then you kind of peel off the transfer sheet and you're left with the vinyl stuck onto the t-shirt so it's a good way to kind of get started in the t-shirt business for very very kind of low cost Jacqueline Vaughn on YouTube, uh, there was a, this was a previous question more higher up. Um, how does the chenille machine and the embroidery machine work together? Can you turn off one and use the other and vice versa? Great question. So uh, we do have a chenille and embroidery machine combo. It is a great, great machine. We're planning to showcase that in our future trade shows to get people more kind of in tune with what it can do. I think it's it's a really cool machine. You can do chenille and embroidery all on one machine. It's two separate heads. So one head is chenille and one head is embroidery. So what happens is you can embroider the you can you can embroider stuff and then you can do chenille kind of transitioning back and forth. Obviously, you have to digitize it for chenille, um, and the machine will read the the chenille format. Um, and be able to do chenille on on those on those colors uh, or using those colors and then transfer over to embroidery to maybe do the border if you're looking to do like chenille patches we have a great video showcasing on on youtube how to do chenille patches using that machine it's it's really really cool and uh very very uh trendy uh thing to do especially when you're you know transferring the or stitching on those patches onto like var uh, varsity jackets um those chenille patches look really really cool um and <clears throat> with the um with chenille, it, it, the machine is pricier because it's essentially like two machines in one. Uh, you're getting a chenille machine and an embroidery machine that's you know two heads, one, one head of embroidery, one head of chenille. Um, so it is a little bit on the pricier side. Um, I believe uh, right around like $30,000, um, it's, it's around the, the price point, but it gives you, uh, like not a lot of people do chenille, so it will really be like, you'll be the only guy in your town to, to do chenille, um, and it's, you can charge a lot for those patches. I mean, normal patches go for like, you know, uh, two, three, four bucks per patch. A chenille patches can easily go upwards of like seven, eight, nine dollars per patch because it's just that much harder and and more rare that people see those. People see that as a, not as a commodity, as a, it's really a, a customized thing that uh, not a lot of people can have the capability of doing and it's well worth the investment, right? You can use the chenille uh, plus embroidery combo to do chenille patches in bulk and just sell the patches and have people, you know, sew them on or stitch them on uh, however they like onto their garments. You don't have to, you don't have to go through all the garment stitching either. If you choose to, you, you can sell a chenille, a, a, like a chenille embroidery jacket uh, with like a varsity jacket and those things go for like like a couple hundred bucks so it's easily um, a, a, a big profit center if you have a chenille plus embroidery combo machine but yeah to answer your question Jacqueline you can also turn off heads so that you can only use chenille or only use embroidery and you can and when you have chenille and embroidery combos the the uh, pantograph the the frame just moves to the other head and you can em embroider or vice versa do chenille uh, if you've programmed it properly
Alondra M. Roman Alvarez uh, uh, says, I have problems with making hats. So um, with hat embroidery, I would recommend several things. One, lower your cap driver, okay? Lower your cap driver that your machine, uh, that the hat sits on. If you don't know how to do that, contact support. We also have videos on YouTube on how to do that. Lower your cap driver as much as possible so it's close to the needle plate so you avoid this flagging when the uh, fabric of the cap is, uh, is bouncing. Um, you, you avoid that by lowering the cap driver as close as possible. Um, this, the, and the second and biggest thing is probably the, your hat hooping. You have to hoop it tight. You have to hoop it tight to, to not lose registration or have needle breaks, okay? So uh, hooping it tight and how to hoop hats properly, it's going to be harder than flats, but doing it properly is going to be uh, super essential to make sure that um, you get the best results on cap embroidery. All right, Louis Zam Zamudio on Facebook asks, how do you describe to a customer what a DTF is? Most think it's vinyl, which they don't want, uh, but it's not exactly screen printing. Great question, and uh, this is how I would I would describe it. It's it's kind of somewhere in between, okay? It's not screen printing, because you can't really get the feel of a DTF to be the feel of screen printing. Screen printing is really nice hand feel, feels very smooth. DTF is gonna have a little bit of a, of a feel. You can't just feel all shirt. It's gonna have a little bit of a feel, but it's not gonna be as rough as vinyl. Vinyl, you can easily, and that's why people, you know, don't like vinyl as much. It's a cheaper way to get started, you know, printing t-shirts for very, very low cost. T-shirts also sell for lower, but you also have a lower upfront investment. It's an easier entry into, into heat transfer vinyl. Um, but the reason why people don't like that is because of the feel, right? Vinyls can peel off, they can crack. Um, so that's why it's not as wa as washable, you know, when you do vinyl. Um, and I, it's understandable why people don't want that. But with screen printing, it's kind of on the other side of the, of the spectrum, right? Screen printing also, it's very difficult to do full color, uh, full color designs. So I would explain to your customer, if they have a full color design, right, gradients, you know, very full color, very vibrant, all sorts of, all sorts of colors and gradients, DTF is, is, the, is the way to go. Because DTF or DTG uh, that you're printing directly on the garment um, uh, is, is the way to go. This is because um, screen printing, you have to burn multiple screens, and you can't do that in small volume. It's not it's not worthwhile for a screen screen printer to uh, take on the order of like twelve shirts. That's not going to be doable for them. Um, but besides that, it's very difficult to do uh, full color designs on screen printing. You have to layer each color on top of each other to create the full color. And so when you have too many colors and gradients, screen printing is not able to achieve that that result and that look. Versus um, direct to film, you're printing full color onto the transfer film, and then you're just transferring that onto the garment. The sacrifice there is that there's a little bit of a hand feel, not too much. There's a little bit of a hand feel. It's uh, better than vinyl, um, but it's not not going to be ne never going to be as good as screen printing, right? Never going to be as good as direct to garment printing because you're printing directly onto the garment. So uh, that's the that's the downside of it. Um, but it's it's uh, it's direct to film has gotten to a point where um, the feel is not is not that bad. You can you can barely feel it. It's not going to be as rough as vinyl, but it's not going to be as smooth as screen printing. It's somewhere in between, but it offers you the full color benefits and on-demand benefits you can print in small or large volume that a screen printer can't offer you. Screen printer can only print in large volume. Some screen printers don't even take orders less than less than 100 pieces, okay? So if your customer wants, you know, 50 pieces, 20 pieces of a full color design, DTF or DTG is the way to go, is the only way to go. John Dean on Facebook asks, what would the white toner printer be considered? So as I mentioned before, white toner is very, very similar to DTF. It's a smaller version of DTF. It's a more compact desktop printer um, that uh, can fit on your table, right? Kind of like your office printer. And it uses toner instead of ink. So DTF uses ink, right? direct film printers use ink. Uh, white toner uses toner. And um, toner, uh, it has less maintenance. It doesn't clog the lines. You can leave it on. Uh, you can leave it on your desk and not use it for, for months and months and still come back and it still works per perfectly fine because toner is a dry powder. It doesn't, it's not liquid that can dry up like, like ink is. Um, so that's the one benefit of, of, of the white toner transfer. 
The other benefit is that Y200 transfer has its place in the industry because it can transfer onto hard surfaces. It can transfer onto mugs, plates, wood, metal that uh, DTF can't. DTF can only transfer onto soft goods like the garments, right? So uh, with um, with Y toner, it opens up the door a little bit and it works very similarly to DTF because it's still a transfer. Um, you print onto a transparent sheet, very much like the film in DTF. You print onto a transparent sheet of paper, and then and then you adhere that with a uh, with an adhesive sheet um, that kind of you know uh, gets coated with uh, you coat your design with that adhesive when you transfer it. Uh, it's called the marrying process, marrying the A and the B paper, and then you get the adhesive on the back. It's kind of like the white powder that's on the back of DTF, and then it gets it gets heated to get fused, um, and then and then you can you can transfer. So that's what gets uh, the adhesive onto uh, the white toner, and then you use you use a heat press to transfer that white toner, and then you peel off the transfer sheet, and then you're left with the design on the garment. So it's very similar, very very similar to DTF, um, but it uses toner instead of ink, so there's less maintenance, and you can transfer onto hard surfaces, and it's more more compact. Packed, lower price point to start, but you can't print as much bigger volume as DTF. So there's this pros and cons. There's a place for everything, so you kind of need to see what fits your kind of business. And um, uh, having a variety of machines can definitely allow you the capability and the flexibility to cater to different needs for your clients. All right, so that's kind of all the time that I got for today. Let me see if I can answer maybe one other question on uh, YouTube. If there's any there. So Fred Stanford asks, is DTG as smooth as screen printing? Um, I would say so. I would say it's comparable to, to, to screen printing because both are kind of not, it's not transferring, it's printing directly onto the shirt. It's infusing into the shirt. So uh, I would say DTG has a pretty smooth feel and uh, DTG's feel is gonna be better than DTF um, uh, by, by by a bit, not not by super much, um, but you can feel a little bit on the DTF because it's indeed still a transfer. Ev Era says, what's the best method for teacher to have a smooth feeling? So that's really screen printing, direct to garment printing, and sublimation. Okay, so those are the only three that will have super, you know, soft feel and not because they're, they're not transfers. Um, sublimation, it's, it's, it's infusing into the into the fabric, but you can only uh, transfer onto, onto polyester. Okay, so, uh, co coated garments. So only polyester or like 70, 30 poly cotton blends. So it has to be majority poly for you to work on, subli uh, to, for sublimation to work. So that's the downside. Um, DTF, you can transfer onto, an onto any soft surface, um, but you know, not have as good of a feel. Um, but it's not bad. It's not, it's not as bad as vinyl. So um, it's not as good as screen printing or DTG, but it's not as bad as vinyl. And then DTG, obviously, super nice hand feel. Screen printing, super nice hand feel, but you know you have a large minimum that you have to order. Because no, no, uh, if you're doing screen printing on, even on your own, you're not gonna you're not gonna do screen printing for like ten t-shirts. Just not possible. All right. So with that said. Um, Thank you guys for all those all of the questions. Um, really uh, enjoyed answering some of those. If I didn't get to answer your question, um, you know, feel free to chime in below. Our team will get to uh, answer some of those. Um, I also saw that Donna Owen asked, "Is the toner easily available?" Yes, we have the toners for sale as well. So on shop.recoma.com, and uh, your printer comes, your white toner transfer printer comes with a set of toner cartridges to start. So you're you're good to go there. All right. So to recap, we do have a couple of uh, sales going on for President's Day. We mentioned our uh, new launch of the DTF printer. A lot of you have answer, uh, asked questions about that. We do have that on sale um, starting uh, President's Day, which started last Friday, goes all the way till next Friday. Zero percent financing for as low as 277 per month um, all-inclusive DTF package and it includes uh, on-site training at your location uh, plus setup so if you're interested in that make sure to check to check that out um, you also get free shipping up to fifteen hundred dollars in value so um, that's a super nice uh, printer to get started with okay um, 
and yeah, the uh, the package comes with over ten thousand dollars worth of uh, of, of add-ons and, and accessories. Meaning, you have, you have the dryer, you have the purifier, you have all of those things. You have the supplies, the ink, the film. Uh, you get everything out of the box to to get started. You get the heat press too. So literally, it's an all-inclusive package for you to get started right out of the gate and uh, be able to save on shipping while, while you're at it too uh, during pres- the President's Day sale. Um, so that's that's for DTF. For um, embroidery machines, if you're interested to um, start on that, uh, we do have our uh, President's Day sale for embroidery as well, 0% financing for 135 per month. That's for the EM1010. Uh, for our entry-level 10-needle machine, um, 135 per month. And then if you get higher level machines, you get, uh, you know, it's a larger monthly payment, but also have 0% financing on those. Um, 0% financing, as I mentioned, and um, free shipping up to $1,500. So the bigger machine you order, the more you save on shipping. Because if you order a larger machine, like a two-head, um, four-head, they can easily be upwards of $900 to like $1,500 in, in shipping cost alone. So, okay, so that's on the embroidery side. And then last but not least, on the uh, white toner transfer printer, as I mentioned, I answered some questions about that as well. We do have the Luminaris 200 white toner transfer printer, 116 per month uh, on 0% financing with free shipping as well. So if you're looking for a more affordable way to get started with t-shirt transfers using white toner heat transfer uh, um, printing, uh, kind of like a DTF, uh, but as I kind of already mentioned some of the similarities and differences, uh, you can get started with that for as low as 116 per, per month, um, just under uh, six $7,000. Uh, with a heat press too, so you get everything out of the gate and the paper, 100 sheets of A and B paper to get you started with our packages. And if you if you uh, buy the Pro Bundle, um, which comes with more more stuff and a better heat press, and an automatic heat press versus a uh, manual heat press on the on the Essentials Bundle, uh, there's two bundles for the Luminaires 200 Essentials and Premium, as you see there. The Essential comes with a manual heat press, a 15 by 15, um, so a smaller size, and then the Premium Bundle comes with an auto heat press that's 16 by 20. Also comes with an 18 month warranty versus a 12 month warranty, and you get uh, you know 25 sheets of Teflon paper as well, along with uh, your A and B paper. So you get a lot more value out of that um, for just a little bit more on the monthly payment. All right. But alone, the, 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 the six extra months of warranty and the peace of mind should be well worth the extra $16 per month uh, on the 0% financing. Okay, so that's it for that. You have nine days, a little bit over nine days left um, until next Friday for take advantage of all of these. We do have the shop sale going on as well, shop.recoma.com, 10% off of sewing machines and heat presses uh, and vinyl cutters. Uh, actually, it's up to 70% off on select heat presses. Um, I believe that's the mug press that's up to 70% off. Um, and then uh, the other heat presses ha- are on sale as well. You get free shipping on all heat presses, sewing machines, and vinyl cutters. You also get free shipping shipping over $1,000 if you order over $1,000 on the shop and 20% off of Chroma. We talked about digitizing as well, which by the way, if you're interested in digitizing, we have, we, if, you're, if you're a Recoma customer, uh, log into your customer portal and you, you have online digitizing classes on Chroma every single week, like three times a week. All right, you can sign up for those classes and webinars on, on your customer portal um, on, on, on Recoma.com. Uh, also, uh, if you're interested in digitizing, I forgot to mention for Deco Summit, um, if you're interested in digitizing, we have massive digitizing classes there. We have you know, 50, 50 60 um, uh, people uh, classes in, in digitizing. Um, and, and if you're looking to focus on that, we have great instructions and instructors um, teaching those classes at Deco Summit. So not only on the machinery and how to use the machinery, but also on digitizing uh, and how to use the software. So you can see there, hands-on Chroma software training on the right-hand side there, open to all ticket types or, uh, you know, and the um, uh, VIP gets some a- access to some special training classes as well on, on Chroma, more advanced topics. But you can see there, you get your own computer and then you can follow along with an instructor on how to digitize. That alone is worth the uh, ticket price itself because uh, a lot of the great things are covered on those on those training sessions. Okay, so um, that's it for kind of the uh, the announcements. Make sure you take advantage of all of those things before next Friday. Don't miss out on the President's Day sale. This is our first sale of the month, so um, we definitely want to you know see you um, uh, take advantage of that if you're interested. Now, uh, for the giveaway, I mentioned that we'll be giving away eight blank T-shirts from our sponsor at Textile. Um, they'll be giving away eight blank T-shirts worth $160 in value. 
Um, you can practice on those shirts. You can um, you can you know uh, embroider them, print on them, see how see how how you feel about them, and then buy them in bulk at wholesale prices from t from textile. So if you're interested in that, make sure to uh, st stick around to the end for the giveaway, which we'll be just announcing the winner um, ju right about now for the for the giveaway. So um, for today's giveaway winner, the winner is going to be someone from YouTube. Someone from YouTube. It's going to be the Baby Daddy Co. The Baby Daddy Co. is going to be the winner of our giveaway for the eight blank t-shirts from our sponsors at Textile. The Baby Daddy Co. Let me know in the comments. Make sure you comment below so I know that you're there so that we don't have to go and, and draw for some for someone else. Make sure you comment so we know that, that you are available. So congrats to the Baby Daddy Co. Let's see if uh, is able to answer. No, I don't see anything yet. I'll give it 15 more seconds. 15 more seconds. Let's see if he uh, if he or she answers before we move on to a second option. A lot of people want these shirts, so let's see. All right, I don't think I don't think they're here, so let's go with another option. Another draw. Let's see. All right, a second drawing. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? All right, so the winner is going to be Ada Montesino. Ada Montesino. Is it from YouTube? On YouTube, Ada Montesino. Ada Montesino on YouTube. Ada, are you there? I saw. I think I saw a comment there. So Ada is going to be the winner of our T-shirts. Ada, Ada. All right, awesome. Yay. Okay, great. So we got we got a winner um, for the T-shirts. So we'll reach out to you, get your info, and then ship them out to you. Again, thanks for our sponsor at Textile. So thank you for that. Um, ho I hope you guys enjoyed all of this content. Um, hope you found it helpful. Um, if you're on YouTube, hey, before you go, let me, let me know uh, or give a quick thumbs up to this YouTube video if you're joining us from, from, from YouTube. Um, give a thumbs up below the video, not not in the chat, but below the video, there's a thumbs up button. Hit that thumbs up button if you're on YouTube, all right? I would, I would greatly appreciate that if you found this content helpful. If you didn't find it helpful, you can give it a thumbs down, but I doubt I doubt that's the case. But uh, if, if you found this information helpful, we'll greatly appreciate a quick thumbs up on this video. This will help the algorithm push this out to more people who might find it helpful as well. Consider sharing and subscribing to our YouTube channel if you, if you are, are um, not a subscriber already. And follow us on all of our social channels uh, down uh, on the screen there. Um, uh, we're active on Instagram at Recoma HQ, on TikTok also at Recoma HQ for some entertaining content there. Um, and obviously on YouTube, we have a ton of tutorials and uh and seminars uh videos on here about the business side of, of the apparel decoration world as well as the technical side and how to do certain certain projects so if you're not already a subscriber go ahead and subscribe hit that thumbs up button down below uh the the youtube channel i hope you guys found this helpful um make sure you um implement all of the tips that we talked about and uh, take advantage of the President's Day sale for embroidery machines, CTF printers, white toner transfer printers, whatever it is that you're looking to, to add on. Heat presses, vinyl cutters, sewing machines. Got a bunch of uh, options for you to, to consider, all right? Um, I hope uh, this was helpful to you guys. Definitely, you know, most importantly, implement all of these things into your uh, business. If I didn't get to your question, I hope, uh, hope to see you guys next month and answer those questions there. Take care, guys.